My name is Abigail and I am studying in my fourth year at university and I study biochemistry which is looking at how the cells in the body work and what they do to get us to be a good healthy human. So in my spare time I like to read, I like to read fiction really um, and I do some exercise, I hang out with my friends and I go and drink tea and biscuits, lots of chocolate as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first question. Who is my hero? I always find this question really hard because I try not to pin one person down as my like hero. But someone recently who I found really interesting was a woman called Rachel Carson, because I read her book recently. It was written a really long time ago when there weren't many women scientists and she wrote a book about the environment and how sometimes when we put things in the ground like insect killer and weed killer, um, it really damages the environment more than we can see. And she wrote that book as a scientist for the normal public and I thought that was really interesting that she used her science and her writing skills together and that she didn't just didn't just do her science and then leave it at that and knew it was great but she really it was really her passion she really wanted to bring that to the rest of the world and I thought that was really cool because that's what I want to do so that's why <laughs> question number two describe myself in three words I'm, oh man, that's really hard. I'm quite bubbly. I like chat quite a bit, as you can hear in half sentences. Um, I like a challenge. That's not one word, but I can't think of the right word for that. Uh, competitive, I suppose, is the word. But without desperately needing to win. I just like solving problems. That's what that is. Um, Another one. Energetic, I think, goes with those. I quite like. Energetic, I like talking about what I'm doing. I like to walk around as I think about things, and that always helps clear my head. That's the kind of person I am. I think that answers that question. What is my favorite invention? Um, huh. Wow. I don't know. Hmm. What do I use all the time? I can only think of kitchen inventions. I can't think of a science one at all. Um, there are some pretty cool inventions lately where you can use bacteria to change the genes, like the DNA, in a cell and the way, so if someone has a disease because there's something wrong with their DNA, we can use that to fix the disease. That's a pretty cool invention. And I think it's gonna be really useful for medicine in the future. What advice would I give my 12 year old self? Don't give up, I think. It's really easy when you face a lot of challenges in school or you're finding things hard. I know that I found it really hard to keep my head down and work for exams, which was obviously a bit in the future, but instead of just hanging out with friends, which I love to do, and you can definitely still do that all the time and work hard, but I'd say finding a nice balance and not give up on your dreams if they seem hard in the first place. I think working towards things is like a mountain. And sometimes you're at the bottom and you're like, oh, it's okay, I'll just, I'll just walk somewhere else. But I think it's really important to be like, actually, that's my goal and I'm going to do it and not give up. Because that can be quite hard sometimes. Yeah. And where do I see myself in five years' time? So I see myself working with the general public, I think. So I, what I want to do is I want to take really interesting scientific research and write about it so that everybody can understand it because I think it's really important that 
science is well understood and that everybody has access because everybody can get involved in science whether that's you're actually doing the research in the lab whether you're taking part in the medicine you want to understand what it is you're getting involved in and I so that's what I want to do I want to make science fun and engaging because that's what it is that's what I think science is I think it's really fun all the time in whatever way you want to do it whether it's physics biology chemistry everyone can get involved so yeah I think if I had to sum up how these questions make me feel I think I would say science is not necessarily what you are doing in the lab I think it's about being curious and about being interested and that anybody can be a scientist no matter where you're from or who you are. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>